Jojo Siwa is taking a lot of heat. Ariana's Nona breaks a record. Kid Cudi joins Coachella, and Charlie and Troy Sivan hit the road. Young Boy Never Broke Again has been arrested. We go behind the scenes with Billboard cover star Tyla, and Tate McRae takes us behind the photo. Another day, another Billboard news. I'm Rania Niftos, and it's Wednesday, April 17th. Everyone's been talking about Jojo Siwa since she released Karma, but it's not just people trolling on the internet now. Jojo Siwa clarifies that viral moment while some others hop on the hate train. I said I wanted to start a new genre of music, and they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. Practically everyone saw that moment of our interview with Jojo Siwa. Well, Jojo clarified what she meant on Sirius XM. Gay pop is not an official genre of music. If you look on the iTunes charts. Mm. Yeah. That wasn't the only flack JoJo got after releasing Karma. Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. Folks online dug up an unreleased version of the song by Brit Smith from 12 years ago, accusing JoJo of stealing the track. Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. JoJo told TMZ that she didn't steal it. Rock Mafia, who wrote the song, allegedly for Miley Cyrus at the time, recorded a version with Brit Smith that didn't see the light of day until it showed up on TikTok recently. Well, Brit released her version, and many people bought it on iTunes in order to what looks like spite JoJo. One person who definitely is not a fan of JoJo, Lil Tay. After people online compared the young rapper who went viral after an online death hoax to JoJo, she told people to not compare them. And when JoJo allegedly liked a tweet slamming Lil Tay, she responded saying, JoJo Siwa, you're a scary ass bitch if you have something to say about me. Say it and this time don't delete your comment or unlike shady tweets. Don't let those paid YouTube views and botted Spotify streams get to your head, Madonna from Dollar Tree ass bitch. Well, that escalated quickly. No response yet from JoJo, but we'll see who ends up with karma. There's always so much going on in music. Here's three things you should know. Never go to bed without kissing goodnight. Ariana Grande's grandmother became the most senior person to chart on the Hot 100 when Ari's song Ordinary Things, featuring Nona, debuted at number 55. Ariana shared a pic of Nona holding a plaque celebrating the achievement. We love to see it. Between them and the Rumi Beyonce collab, we should have way more family moments on the charts. Kid Cudi is heading to the desert. The rapper posted on X that he'll be performing at Coachella on Weekend 2. He shared his set time in the Sahara tent with the caption, Insane oh boy incoming, who's pulling up? I doubt Childish Gambino will be there considering their non-beef feud, but I'm sure it'll be an epic set. Also set to take the stage, Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan. They announced their joint Sweat North American tour kicking off in September. Billboard's powerhouse Woman of the Year shared the dates for the upcoming arena tour on IG, hitting epic venues like the Kia Forum and Madison Square Garden. I can't wait to hear her new album Brat Live, but I really can't wait for them to take us back to 1999. Young Boy Never Broke Again has been arrested after allegedly violating house arrest. Here's what we know. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. Young Boy has been under house arrest for more than two years while awaiting trial on federal gun charges. Last night, the rapper was arrested in Utah on multiple charges, including procuring or attempting to procure prescription drugs, possession of other controlled substances, and possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person, a pattern of unlawful activity, identity fraud, and forgery. Little else is yet known about the circumstances of Young Boy's arrest. His attorney declined to comment, and the Cache County Sheriff's Office did not immediately return a request for comment. Bail has not yet been set, according to Sheriff's Office records, and court records do not yet show a criminal case pending or an arraignment hearing set. Now, on to our latest cover star, Grammy winner Tyla is taking over, and we were behind the scenes with the It Girl. I was wrapping up the album, and I was looking for sounds that I was missing. And I really felt like I was missing like a summer banger, vibey type song. So I ended up working with these people that we call the Fantastic Four, which is Ari, Corey, Mocha, and Sammy Soso. And we came up with literally the exact song I had envisioned. And we recorded it in a bedroom, literally. 
and I just remember repeating it and repeating it and playing it for whoever would listen and people that I played it for loved it. I had a really good feeling. I started performing it before it was out and the response was so good that I was like, wait, this could be the song. But obviously the challenge and everything took it like to the world. First of all, I love Bacardi. I just really love bringing South African dancing to my performances, like all of them as much as I can. And with water, we were looking for a moment for the song. Like we had to push, we were grinding, trying to make a plan. And we were doing that type of style for a different song. And it was getting good responses online. So we were like, let me do this, but for water. And we did, and I poured water on my back and that video for the full profile, head over to Billboard's YouTube page. Another big it girl in music is Tate McRae. She just started her Think Later World Tour today in Ireland, and we recently sat down with her to talk about some of her most liked photos. Hey, this is Tate McRae, and this is Behind the Photo with Billboard. Oh my god. This is me on the tour bus. My first ever tour, North American tour. Obviously, <laughs> You wake up and you feel very puffy because you're seeing a lot of people, you're dancing every night, lots is going on. And I have this one like ice cold face mask that has ice in it. And my photographer took this photo and I was sitting in my front lounge like this. Pretty iconic. Oh my God. This is insane. This is me as a child. I have the wildest baby pictures you have ever seen. I don't know what I would wear every single day. I always say to my mom, like, how could you let me like out of the house like this? But I always wore like these massive bandanas over my head. I was just the chubbiest little kid ever who did not give a shit about anything or how I looked or anything. And I would just be chilling, always. Pretty gangster, <laughs> always. <laughs> this last photo is a picture of me and my girlfriends. The best ever, they're so beautiful. This was on Olivia's music video shoot for Bad Idea, right? All of us were in the music video. It was so cute, it was in this little neighborhood. We were all driving around on golf carts. We literally only filmed for like 10 minutes and then we just like hung out the rest of the day. But they're the best, I love these girls. They're so talented and the sweetest. That's today's show. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see who's on top of the TikTok Billboard Top 50 and we run down Taylor Swift's biggest achievements. I'm Rania Niftos and this is Billboard News.